Dear students, today I am going to deal about the topic pericyclic reactions. So in organic chemistry, reactions are broadly classified into three categories, polar reactions, radical reactions and pericyclic reactions. The first two types of reactions that are familiar to you. So you already studied both polar reactions as well as radical reactions. Now today I am going to deal about uh, pericyclic reactions. First, let us see what are pericyclic reactions. Pericyclic reactions are concerted single step reactions involving cyclic shift of pi and sigma electrons. Let us see the characteristics of uh, pericyclic reactions. Pericyclic reactions are concerted reactions. Concerted reactions means reactant bonds are broken and uh, product bonds are formed uh, simultaneously. So there is no uh, intermediates. So there is a, a cyclic transition state involving the uh, conversion of the product and the reactant. So another characteristics, they are not affected by acids, bases and polarity of solvents and generally they are not affected by catalysts. So these reactions are highly stereospecific. Now let us see the classification of pericyclic reactions. There are three classes, first one is electrocyclic reactions cycloaddition reaction and uh, sigmatropic reaction. So now let us see what are electrocyclic reactions. Electrocyclic reactions are concerted interconversion of a conjugated polyenes and a cycloalkanes. Here um, both, uh, here the conjugated molecule undergo cyclization to give cyclic compound. Uh, so these reactions are reversible reactions and they are induced either thermally or photochemically. All uh, electrocyclic reactions are reversible reactions. So here uh, there are two types of reactions, ring closure and ring opening reactions. Here one example, 1,3-butadiene uh, that undergo cyclization to give cyclobutene. Another example is 1,3-5-hexatriene uh, that undergo cyclization to give uh, cyclohexadiene. So the f uh, both the reaction that uh, is taking place under thermal as well as in photochemical condition. But the stereochemistry of the product form are different. Second reaction is the cycloaddition reaction. A cycloaddition reaction in which two or more unsaturated molecules undergo an addition reaction to yield a cyclic product at the expense of one pi bond in each of the reacting partners. Uh, for example, uh, two ethylene molecules undergo cyclization to give cyclobutane. So this reaction is takes place under uh, photochemical condition. Another example is 1,3-butadiene uh, uh, adds with ethylene uh, to give cyclohexane. So this reaction uh, is taking place under thermal condition. And third category in pericyclic reaction is the sigmatropic rearrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, concerted rearrangement reactions that involving reorganization of electrons during which a group attached by a sigma bond migrates to the terminus of an adjacent pi electron system. Uh, example is uh, example for uh, sigmatropic rearrangement is uh, 3 methyl 15 hexadiene that undergo rearrangement to give 1 methyl 15 hexadiene. Uh, so here uh, sigma bond that migrates over pi system from one position to another position. Let me discuss about the features of a pericyclic reaction. So there are three features. One is uh, activation, second one is number of pi bonds involved in the reaction and third feature is uh, stereochemistry of the reaction. So here uh, for every reaction uh, the energy is needed. So here in the pericyclic reactions are activated either thermal energy or by UV light. Uh, and second feature is uh, the number of pi bonds involved in the reaction. Third one is the stereochemistry of the reaction. So there is a inter, uh, interrelationship between mode of activation and the stereochemistry of the given uh, reaction. Let me see the example. Here in the first example, uh, butadiene that undergo cyclization to give cyclobutene and this reaction that takes place under uh, thermal condition and the product that is trans. 
um, the same uh, reactant that undergo the reaction in photochemical condition, but uh, the product formed is the stereochemistry of the product is uh, uh, cis. So let me see uh, why uh, this type of results are obtained in the pericyclic reactions. These results had been observed for many years, but the reasons for them were not known. Several theories have been developed to rationalize these reactions. Uh, mainly there are two theories. The first one is uh, conservation of orbital symmetry and second one is uh, frontier molecular orbital theory. The conservation of molecular orbital theory is uh, given by R. B. Woodward and R. Hoffman. So they give the explanation about uh, this type of uh, results on the basis of uh, symmetry of molecular orbitals of the reactant and the product. The second theory is uh, frontier molecular orbital theory is given by uh, K. Fukai and he gave the uh, explanation on the basis of frontier molecular orbitals involved in the reactions. Uh, these both the, these theories make the same prediction for uh, pericyclic reactions. So now uh, let us see the theories of uh, uh, conservation orbital symmetry theory and frontier molecular orbital theory. So to understand these th three theories, the molecular orbitals of conjugated systems are necessary. Let us see the molecular orbital theory of uh, uh, conjugated pi system. The conjugated pi system means uh, that contains alternating double and single bonds. The molecular orbital theory that uh, follows a linear combination of atomic orbitals uh, that involving bonding molecular orbitals and antibonding molecular orbitals. Bonding molecular orbitals are lower in energy than the isolated p atomic orbitals and have the fewest nodes. Uh, whereas antibonding molecular orbitals are uh, higher in energy and uh, having uh, high, uh, the number of nodes in antibonding uh, molecular orbitals are high. Let us see uh, the simplest example for conjugated ex uh, molecule is uh, ethylene. Uh, the molecular orbital of uh, uh, ethylene uh, has uh, two uh, orbitals that is bonding molecular orbital and antibonding molecular orbital. So these are designated as uh, psi 1 and uh, psi 2. Uh, psi 2 is psi 1 is a bonding molecular orbital having least energy and psi 2 is a anti bonding molecular orbital having uh, higher energy than isolated p orbital. So, let us see what are uh, frontier molecular orbitals. Uh, frontier molecular orbitals are the combination of uh, HOMO and LUMO. HOMO means uh, highest uh, occupied molecular orbital and LUMO means uh, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. Combination of HOMO and LUMO are considered as uh, frontier molecular orbitals. Let us identify the frontier molecular orbitals of uh, ethylene molecule. Let us see the ground state uh, configuration of uh, ethylene molecule. It has uh, two pi electrons. Uh, in ground, at ground state, uh, both the electrons are occupied in psi 1. Therefore, psi 1 is uh, considered as HOMO and uh, psi 2 is unoccupied molecular orbital that is uh, uh, considered as loom. Therefore, uh, psi 1 and psi 2 are frontier molecular orbitals at ground state. On the other hand, in the excited state molecular orbital, so one of the electron get excited to uh, psi 2. Uh, therefore, psi 2 is considered as uh, homo and uh, there is no loom. Therefore, frontier molecular orbitals uh, of uh, ethylene molecule in excited state is uh, psi 2 itself. So, the next molecule is 1,3-butadiene uh, uh, and uh, let us see uh, the molecular orbital of 1,3-butadiene as well as 1,3,5-hexatriene in the next class. Thank you.